Hey, what's going on? I'm Bonsicle, and today is Sunday, January 28th, 2018. You happen to be looking at, yet again, Wipeout Omega Collection on the PlayStation 4. This is not a review. This is what I've been playing some of this week. I finally made it to the Fury campaign. I posted a video of myself playing this a bit when I first got it and got into it and i've kind of been taking my time with it um but again i love the the wipeout franchise or whatever at least um hd and fury and 2048 all three of which are conveniently packaged together in the omega collection and as i said before my intention from the beginning was to play through each of the campaigns in the order that they originally released which is also the order in which i originally played them so i finished up the HD campaign and now I am in the Fury campaign. Last video was nothing but me goofing off in a zone mode the entire time. This video um, you can see I'm in a race at the moment um, and then I think I'm gonna do a detonator event and then probably like a zone battle which are some of the other event modes in the Fury campaign. I got into the Fury campaign and was immediately reminded of how much I hate the eliminator events uh, if you notice as I do a race uh, the main thing that I do the entire time is hit turbo when I get turbo and just absorb everything else uh, wipeout you know always was I guess a vehicular combat type of game combat racing or whatever I've never been a fan of that I don't I don't really just personally I don't particularly like the combat aspect of uh, picking up weapons and dropping bombs and laying mines and shooting rockets and I just don't dig all that So I like to actually just race so the eliminator events uh, Are you just score points on attacking the other stuff and I remember now like oh, yeah I hate these events, but other than that I love everything else about it and I really do I actually like the uh, Like zone battle and stuff like that. Those are pretty cool. So I think I'm going to jump now into a um, detonator event the way I just blast through the campaign as soon as I get a gold medal um, I kind of deliberately crash myself out so I will probably do that but uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to getting into the 2048 portion because I have only ever played that on the Vita uh, so this will be my first console experience uh, sitting in front of the television and playing the 2048 campaign so I'm really looking forward to that Otherwise, this week I've spent quite a bit more time playing still on the PlayStation 3 uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And I finished up the story in that last week, and now I've been just kind of like mopping up trophies. And is definitely not trying to get a platinum in that. In fact, uh, between the main campaign and the DLC, which was free, I think I'm going to make it out of that with 35 bronze trophies and that's it but that's fine and that's okay um i mean it's not all about trophies i i thoroughly enjoyed it i play things because i enjoy playing them but it is nice when you get some uh decent trophies towards things and i happen to be working towards the sony rewards for trophies right now trying to get uh the 10 platinums and the 25 gold trophies and the 100 silver trophies and so playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and getting nothing but 35 bronze trophies does not help towards that at all but that's okay I did actually uh, speaking of trophies and milestones I did hit 9,000 trophies this past week as far as total trophies so that's kind of cool so I'm 90% of the way to five digits worth of trophies over the last 10 years I think has it been 10 years that I've been playing games with trophies in them I don't know so I guess that seems about right but uh, yeah that's pretty much what I've been playing this past week a little bit of Wipeout Omega Collection when I get a chance and quite a bit more of Metal Gear Rising Revengers on the PlayStation 3 I still intend to finish that up and kind of want to check out Sacred 3 which is free this month for North American PlayStation Plus members this Wednesday actually we should get the preview for February's PlayStation Plus so I'm looking forward to checking that out as I always am month by month that will be the last day in this month actually that we should get the uh, official info on what will be free for us PlayStation Plus members for February coming up so 
I'll be looking forward to checking that out. And those are all of the words that I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Kyrex. Attainable. Session complete. Gold medal awarded.